I'm so excited to see where the show goes, it's almost scary. I'm kind of terrified. Oh, it's Power's original state. It's kind of hot. <laughs> Something about it. I don't know. <laughs> Just anything that moves. You can eat. Meowie. Meowie needs to eat too. There's something about this form. <laughs> Don't know what it is. There's something about it. Whoops. When you realize you care about something. And then fall down. I offer myself as tribute. <laughs> we did it. Meowie yeah, ate well after that point. Damn. Now that's a moment. You gotta honor your end of the bargain. I mean, he delivered- you made a deal. He don't write checks you can't cash. <laughs> but I feel like the really badass one for Denji would be to not do it. I don't want it this way. Not like this. We'll never find out. We'll never find out what he would have done. Oh, thank God it's just his arm and not Meowie. That would have been too much. What the heck is going on? Already? Another demon? Just like that? This is not letting up in the show. And I love it. This opening is just so damn good, man. It's just so damn good. Why did it take me so long to realize that there's kind of nudity between that and the bowling ball? That's my favorite part right here. One thing that has been brought up a lot about the last episode is that the, let's call it, power system of the, the demons being based on fear is so simple but so great. And it opens the doors to so many possibilities. I can't wait to see what they do with the demons. The sky's the limit, honestly. I wonder what like the ultimate bad will be and what it will say about the themes of the show. There's a chance here for something really amazing and beautiful and special if they like nail it and have it be consistent. It's super exciting. Well, these are not the boobs we wanted, but they're the boobs we deserve. Aw. Uh. Aw. Uh. <laughs> Thinking about Meowie. Where did this thing come from? Just attracted to the carnage? Oh, it's Batty's girlfriend. Yeah, I got that. This shit has good taste. Save Meowie at all costs. Save Meowie. Oh my god, are they doing this again? Right after episode 3. This is only episode 4. This is nuts! Oh my god, I can't believe it. I can't believe how much they put into this. The animator's wrists must be in as much pain as Denji's. Just non-stop. <laughs> we got no chainsaw. Or like half a chainsaw. Chainsaw stump. He's got power. Super power. Don't underestimate it, power. Don't underestimate it. People don't even know. But it's about more than that, of course. It's important to have shared values in a relationship. <laughs> That's a line. <laughs> See, everyone's saying that. And it's sort of meta, because I bet the, a lot of the audience felt the same way as well, at least initially. But there's more to it than that. It feels very self-aware. There's something like primordial, so fundamental about Denji and the rawness of his energy. I murderize you. My money's on Denji. <laughs> the slipping animation is so great too. So much attention to detail. Ooh. They just, I don't know, they found a way to make this so much fun. Right, they both feel like they're having fun here. It's a weird battle of ideology, like the just the basic humanity versus the evil of lofty plans. That doesn't look good. That is a lot of blood. Quick, Denji, think about boobs. Boobs. What kind of sorcery is this? <laughs> oh, it's like a shadow. That's awesome. He's got the power of hand puppets. Never thought I would say that sentence out loud. It's like, uh, what's his name from Jutsu Kaisen, but with shadows. 
We got new peeps. Who's a leech? Are people that afraid of leeches? Or does that mean that was a low level demon? I guess leeches are more terrifying than bats. We did it. The most important mission was accomplished. Hell yeah, everyone's a cat lover. These are this is the most heroic team I've ever seen. Move over my hero academia. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, of course. I was suspecting he would be able to regrow limbs, but guess not yet, at least. This guy's all about shapes. Yeah, we moved past it though. Keep your mouth shut and never rat on your friends. <laughs> That's my motto. Some mixed reviews there, but it did save a lot of people and a cat, critically. You have nothing to offer us. Look at your flat chest. I'm not hearing any leverage. Don't I think for some people though, if they were more honest, even lofty dreams boil down to very basic things. People are weird because we're these enormously powerful processing machines that are kind of recently built, stacked on top of, and kind of being navigated by a physical animal body that has been manufactured over hundreds of thousands or millions or billions of years, depending on how you look at it. And there's power in time, you know, it's like the things that are the most essential and therefore probably the oldest are the hardest wired. You know, think about breathing, right? Breathing is not anything you think about typically. Hunger is not a choice. And I think the, the higher faculty processes are a real gift and are beautiful. But I think it's, in a way, a mistake to think of them as separate. And in fact, I think that's a common villain thing, thinking that, you know, once you achieve a certain amount of intelligence or processing ability you've become something higher than man and you seek to become a god but i think that just my outlook at least the closest thing to what's probably going to be optimal is the thing most aligned with reality and so would that not include a decent harmonization of both the body or animal states the fact that we're not that far removed from any other species and our rational capabilities that can be used to optimize our existence as humans you know what i'm saying but we're competing with other people who have more or less the same faculties as us and so the games become more and more complex and more and more abstract, but they're still fundamentally the same. You know, it's, it's survival and comfort and mating and safety and, and social bonds. And to that extent, I think we're kind of wired to get meaning naturally out of ascending those things, finding our place in the world and overcoming challenges and hopefully getting rewarded for that you know, among the criteria we need, which are probably all going to, you know, fall generally in line with the hierarchy of needs. To Denji's point, there's nothing wrong or lesser about his motivation or desires. It just is all going to depend on how he goes about it. You know, is it repeatable? Is it ethical? Does it actually improve his life? Or does he trade away a better future for something transient? Does he leave damage in his wake? And so far, all it's done is lead him to step up and work hard and save people. And, you know, I suspect that if this is a normal path of growth for, for people, it will lead to something more than he initially thought it would be which is typically the case, you know, like I think it's fine to fix it on one thing that has an emotional connection and strive to solve whatever challenges feel like obstacles, because in doing so, you'll just naturally come across a pattern that is applicable to a lot of other things in life, because to meet a challenge means in part to understand it at a certain level and also to understand yourself, which has much wider consequences than whatever the initial thing of focus was. What is it, Makima's house? Makima's house? Knew it. Her office. That's the look of someone who just sees right through someone. Gun flesh. Gun flesh. Is that what we're collecting? What's our end game? She's, she's kind of scary. She's kind of scary. It's a power move, seeing right through someone and telling them about what you see. What is this? What is this feeling of loneliness? It's very orderly. Everything in its place. <laughs> so, abundance of evidence for his character and his habits. It's kind of driving me crazy. This would probably be like, what do you call it, oddly satisfying for some people, but it's sort of stifling. Oh, oh, oh. 
Is she moving in? This is Evangelion. Oh my god. This poor guy. This poor man. This poor man. Oh, and a cat. Get ready to step on a lot of cat litter. You're going to be doing a lot of vacuuming. Oh, this is so much fun for me, though. This is more like it. Here we go. This is my kind of household. Mikima just <laughs> doing him dirty. <laughs> but she's on. She's up to something. She sees the potential. Yeah, she wants blood. Tenji also is a vegetable lover. Carrots are delicious. I miss living with other people. Though yeah, having a private bathroom is kind of essential. Well, she's really pressing it. We will find out. I feel like you won't though. In the bathroom, no less. <laughs> the sweat drop. The gigantic sweat drop. Yeah, we didn't specify, right? This is a full length contract. And the leech devil. Also, that. Shouldn't it be four then? What? We don't actually. What happened? I'm so curious if he actually does it or not. Something's very, very power focused. <laughs> Would you live with power? <laughs> Would you want power as a roommate? Leave it in the comments. I'd risk it, not gonna lie. It's not like I'm the most organized person myself. How much worse could it get? And I would get extra vegetables with meals. Seems like a win-win. I wasn't sure how I felt about the, the unique endings initially, but I, I kind of love it. I mean, I guess the only downside is it robs you of having a consistent ending that you kind of grow to love. But generally speaking, there are not that many endings that I just fall in love with. Not like openings, at least. They tend to be a little bit uh, softer. So I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying the, the variety. It's fun. And, the, you know, they're actually really good so far, at least. I mean, episode three was phenomenal. Anyway, am I right to assume that Denji achieved his primary goal? I mean, you know where it goes from there, right? It just It's going to escalate. That's not going to be enough. Those three squeezes are not forever. And you're right back where you Started. I don't know why this device works so well. I felt the same in Evangelion, speaking of which, when Asuka moved in. It's like, just such a genius setup, thinking about this from the perspective of a high school boy, or post-adolescent boy, or fully adult boy, or old man. It's great. <laughs> the imagination runs wild. What a crazy four episodes this has been already. So much ground covered. Before the video ends, I have to give a huge shout out to all patrons for all the support, for making these videos possible, for tolerating my craziness, trying to juggle 8,000 shows at the same time with no real schedule to speak of. For those that don't know, longer, fuller versions of these videos are available on Patreon, as well as early access for main shows, although for these newer shows like Chainsaw Man, My Hero Academia, Spy X Family, it varies. Sometimes it's just a couple days, sometimes it's two weeks early access. Extra content like OBAs and series movies and q a's which i'm going to resume this month after sort of a long hiatus on patreon i've already started haiku and next week i'm going to start uh march comes in like a lion so i'm very excited for that a special shout out to those who joined the top tier on patreon recently richard kim boo hooligan raymond tan and david salazar thank you to you thank you to all patrons thank you to everyone watching on youtube and following one or multiple series there's a lot going on right now i will get to everything even if it's a little bit crazy and chaotic and take some time but yeah thanks to everyone for watching and i'll see you guys next time for episode five of chainsaw man <laughs>